Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Have you ever heard that pride is a foundational sin? Once pride creeps into our hearts, it can lead us to other sins. The Bible says God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. The story of Azariah, or Uzziah, reminds me of this verse. I read his story first from 1 Kings 15. It introduced Azariah as a good king of Judah who did what was right in the sight of the Lord. The high places weren't removed, but that was true of several good kings. So I didn't understand why verse 4 says, Then the Lord struck the king so that he was a leper until the day of his death. I read it again and got the same thing. Azariah was a good king and God gave him leprosy. Why would he give a good king leprosy? Why not give it to all the bad kings like Manasseh who reigned for 55 years a few generations later? But the good thing about the kings of Judah is that their story can also be found in First and Second Chronicles. In Second Chronicles 26, Azariah, called Uzziah here, did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and sought God only while Zechariah lived. Kind of like his grandpa Joash did good only while his guardian Jehoiada, the high priest, was alive. So we don't know who Zechariah was, but he must have been a good influence on the young king. As long as he sought the Lord, God made Uzziah prosper. As Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. God helped him against the Philistines. The Ammonites brought him tribute. His fame spread and he became exceedingly strong. He built towers around Jerusalem, dug wells, and had lots of people working for him. His army was strong and powerful. Everything went well for Uzziah until we hit a but in verse 16. This but sometimes invades our life too. It says, but when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. The New Living Translation said, but when he had become powerful, he also became proud which led to his downfall. With all he had done for the Lord and his people, I guess Uzziah figured he was entitled to whatever he wanted. As the most powerful man in the land, who was going to stop him? That's probably what David thought too, as he sent for Bathsheba, and no one dared to stop him. When we start feeling entitled, and we don't have a good system of accountability set up, pride can get us into all sorts of trouble. In Uzziah's case, someone did dare to stop him, Azariah the priest, and eighty other priests of the Lord with him. They stood against him and said, It is not for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord, but for the priests, the son of Aaron, who were consecrated to burn incense. Get out of the sanctuary, for you have trespassed. You shall have no honor from the Lord God. Uzziah must have been in the area of the temple that was for the priests only. He had trespassed on holy turf, and they weren't going to let him get by with it. Now, if Uzziah had turned red in shame and put the censer down and slinked out of there humbled and ashamed, I think things would have turned out differently for him. When we realize that the sin of pride has taken over and we've crossed a line, if we would humble ourselves, confess, and ask forgiveness— then God would use that to mold us into the person he wants us to become. But that wasn't Uzziah's response. It says Uzziah, still holding the censer, became furious with these priests. And just as the words, how dare you, were about to come out of his mouth, he saw the priests gasp at what broke out on his forehead. Leprosy, a dreaded disease. According to the law, a person with leprosy would be isolated from the rest of the people which is what happened to Uzziah. He could argue with the priests, but not with God. He hurried out of the temple, never to return. He could never enter the temple or rule his nation. He lost everything in that one act of pride. So for us, when everything's going well, that's the time to look out for the temptation of pride. We must remember to humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift us up. 
You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through His Word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.